thank you for clicking my video and in today's video i have three wigs in the same style but different colors this wig show and tell is brought to you by hair so fly shop the link below to these wigs will be in the description box if you are interested this is Otre Melted Hairline Synthetic Lace Front Wig in the style Dion in the colors 2, DRFF Red Velvet, and DR Chocolate Swirl. Right here is a close-up of what inside of the wig looks like. You get a 5-inch deep parting space. In the front, you get two combs, another comb and nape air with adjustable straps. This is a stretch-fit breathable material cap, and they inserted an elastic band so you get an extra snug fit. This is what the color 2 looks like straight out of the box. The hair texture feels very soft, but it also feels like a blown out kinky straight texture. Right here is a close up on the hairline on how the color two comes. It comes very lightly pre-plugged, but you get baby hairs on the hairline. I really need to go in and pluck this hairline. It's just too thick and dense for me, but I'm only plucking by the forehead almost like a closure wig a five by five closure wig so when i do that i pull out the front that's on the lace and then i go in and pluck the hairline backwards this is super easy compared to other plucking techniques that i have done i would say this is the easiest i got like about five plucking techniques but when it comes to plucking synthetic wigs I do this in the front depending on how much lace is there just so the curls don't end up getting frizzy while I'm plucking the front. But right now I'm just plucking in random sections and when I'm plucking I go in with a rat tail comb, start from the ends and work my way up to the roots of the wig and comb out all that shedding hair. After I got the back density a little lower, I'm gonna take that front piece and hold it back and start plucking the hairline on the spots that look really thick just so the hairline could look a little bit more jagged because right now it's very much giving that oval effect you guys do not have to go in and pluck the hairline i'm just showing you guys what i did so you guys know how i got my end results but i go in and pluck the hairline on all three wigs towards like the forehead and I noticed on the color number two, this one, like the knots was very stingy and hard to pluck. But I go in with the hot comb after I'm done plucking the hairline. On the color number two, I'm plucking out the baby hairs that's on the center of the forehead because the style of the baby hairs that I'm going for, I really don't need the forehead baby hairs. It's not my best plucking, but it's something about the color number two. The knots was very hard to pluck on this wig, but the right side is the side that I plucked and the left side is how the wig comes. So like I said, you don't have to go in and do this. I'm just showing you guys what I did. Now I'm going to go in and pluck the other side. Just keep in mind when I'm plucking, I'm using the tweezers and I'm plucking downwards. I'm using the slanted angle on the tweezers and I'm using Revlon tweezers i got those from cvs
I was trying something a little new today with the baby hairs on a synthetic wig. I was like, let me go in and curl it. I love this curling iron. I brought it off of Amazon and I use it for the baby hairs only. So when it's time to style it, it helped make styling a little bit easier because the baby hair is, is already curled. When I was plucking the color number two, I did poke a few holes in the lace. So be careful with that. This was the amount of hair I plucked from the hairline, but with the other colors, plucking the other colors came out so smoothly. I got no holes in the lace, and when plucking the hair, it just lifted off easily off the knots compared to the color number two. As you can see, the hairline looks way different than the color number two. Some of the colors on the hairline come plucked way more than the color number two, so I don't know why they did that, because I love color number two. But anyway, with the DR Red Velvet color, I go in and cut off the baby hairs on that one. So, you know, there's a no baby hair option as well. Out of all three colors I had, the DR Chocolate Color Swirl hairline came out the best. Like, this is how the hairline comes. So when I pluck it, I didn't have to do much work. I really wished all three wigs hairline came like this. But I guess because it's made with different colors, they use different qualities. I don't know. But now it's time for the install. And first, I'm going to start with the color number two. Underneath the lace, I went ahead and applied some makeup powder. I used Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade 360 and I applied the powder underneath the lace. And right there in the back is where I hooked my adjustable straps. Right there in the right hand corner is the current braid pattern I have underneath my wig. The wig hairline is a little longer than my natural hairline, so I'm going to go in on both sides and cut off some of the air tabs. The hairline is still coming off a little bit light on my skin, so I'm going to take this NARS foundation that I have, pump a little bit of it on a paper towel, then I go in with my makeup brush to smudge some of the product off so there's not too much product on the brush, and just lightly wipe it on top of the hairline on the lace. Now I'm going in with the Got To Be Glued Styling Spiking Glue and I'm using this on the baby hairs. Because this is a wig show and tell, I'm not going to go in and spray down the hairline or spray the air tabs for this one. The other two wigs, I definitely go in and spray down the hairline. Well, not the whole hairline, but by like the air tabs a little bit. So stay tuned for that. This wig hairline could have been plucked some more. But like I said, the knots on this one was very hard to pull out. So it was making me like poke some holes in the lace, but it's okay. I'm going to still try to make it work. On top of the lace, I'm going to go in with some of this Maybelline Fit Me powder. The shade that I have is 360. I'm applying some of this powder to the parting space because this helps hide the knots on the parting space and the grid, but also help the parting space look a little bit more like scalp.
Hey there love, right here is my end results on the color number two. Now that I'm watching this video over, I feel like I could have combed out the ends a little bit more, but the end results isn't so bad. You guys still get the hint of what the wig looked like in this color. Like I said before, the hair texture feels very soft, but it has this kinky straight blown out texture slash style to it, which I love. I don't like how the hairline on the wig is shaped like an oval. Sometimes the Melted Hairline series by Otri have some curves and dips to it, but not this one. I wish I had the patience to pluck all of the hairline, not just the forehead, but the knots was very hard to pluck on the color number two, like I said. I know a lot of my big head friendly ladies is wondering, is this wig big head friendly? If you have a big head, you are definitely in for the clear. I have a lot of stretch cap room left in this wig. One thing I love too, when I split the hair in the back, there isn't any track showing and you can't see my wig cap. But if you have a smaller head, then I recommend taking the elastic band that's on the inside of the wig and making a knot towards the end and hooking your adjustable straps really close or crisscrossing your adjustable straps. As for the hair density, it doesn't come off thick or low. It's like right in between, really nice and lightweight for every day. As for the lace, once you get it to match your skin, it blends in easy. I don't have any spray or glue tape on the forehead. It's just sitting on my forehead. You can see the line of demarcation on where I cut the lace with this one. It would have melted better in with my skin if I sprayed it, but I didn't want to spray, especially since I have other wig reviews to do. I didn't get much shedding hair on this one, which surprised me because I plucked a lot of hair from the hairline. And as for tangling, I didn't get any tangles. This wig would look good short as well, but I was like, let me just leave it alone. Let's move on to the next color. With the wig install on the red velvet color, the same steps that I did on the other wig, I'm going to do on this one. So I had to cut off the air tabs, also go in with some makeup foundation on the hairline because it was coming off too light on my skin. Now I'm going to go in with some bedhead hardhead spray. I didn't do this on the first one, but I would like the air tabs down for this color. And I'm just going to go in and spray by my air tabs up to my temple. And then I blow dry it until it's completely dry. My forehead was looking like a five head in this wig, but eh, still look cute. So I'm going to go in with a tighter comb and I'm going to start from the ends and work my way up to the roots on the wig. Okay, right here is my end results on a DIFF red velvet color. And this color by Otre is always a hit to me. I love it, especially with that bright highlight streak in the front. It helps the wig pop more with the burgundy. Styling this one was super easy, especially since I didn't have to do the baby hairs. But I want to show you guys with these wigs, you don't always have to wear the baby hairs. The hair texture, the wig cap size, and the hair density, I would say is pretty much the same as the color number two. These wigs have a medium luster to it, so that means the shine on the hair isn't too shiny. But if you have a problem with the luster, then I recommend going in with some dry shampoo. When I split the hair in the back, my tracks isn't showing and you can't see my wig cap. I also really like how the roots is dark and a fade into the burgundy color. There's no harsh line of demarcation with the fading. 
the hair color is really gorgeous to me it's not too dark but not too bright definitely would turn heads to you as for the lace it's not looking too bad with my skin and the parting space again is five inches deep and the parting space comes pre-plucked for you really nice wig love it Okay, now I'm down to my last color. I already went ahead and curled the baby hairs and blended the lace in with my skin, but I'm going to spray down the ear tabs. So I'm gonna go in with that bedhead hardhead spray, spray one layer of that on top of the lace up to my temples, then blow dry until it's completely dry. I don't want to hold up too much of your time showing you guys how I do these extra baby hairs. Some people like the baby hairs a little extra. So with this one, I was like, let me go a little in and be extra. So I'm just adding a few little swoops of baby hairs to the hairline. Alrighty, right here is my end results with the DR chocolate swirl color. And one thing about this color, it was a little different than the color number two and the red velvet color. I feel like the hair density is just a little bit lower, which is okay because the wig is still gorgeous. The hairline on this one came extra pre-plucked compared to the other ones, which kind of hurt because I really wish the other ones came pre-pluck like this like it looks great so me plucking it a little extra was way more easy and it just looks nice but i had to do what i do and make do with what i got the hair tangling on this one i didn't get any tangles just like all three of them none of them had any tangling but it is day one with the wig but it is a good thing that there isn't any tangling because sometimes, you know, you can get a synthetic wig on day one and start matting up right then and there. When I split the hair in the back, there isn't any track showing and you can't see my wig cap. I forgot to show you guys the amount of shedding I got with this color, but it was not a lot. It was actually way lower than the other two wigs. And as you can see, the shedding on those was already low. This color to me is very gorgeous as well. I love the touch of highlights they add in it. They didn't overdo it with the highlights. They just added a few highlights here and there. The lace looks great with my skin. The parting space comes pre-plugged for you. I honestly recommend. The only work I had to do was go in and pluck the hairline. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below and I will try to get back to them as soon as possible. Hit the like button if this video helped in any way or if you enjoyed the video subscribe if you like to see more and i'll see you guys later please be safe